Hi there, Steve Kaufman. Today I'm going to talk about something a little different from my normal language learning uh, subject. And I'm going to talk about what I consider to be the dishonesty of some so-called, you know, advocates, do-gooder advocates. I became aware today that Justin Trudeau, who is a, an aspiring political figure in Canada, a member of parliament, son of former Prime Minister Pierre Trudeau, uh, hoping to become the next leader of the Liberal Party. And I should point out that the Liberal Party in Canada is kind of like the Democrats in the U.S., sort of a left of center party, uh, not quite as aligned with the unions because we have another party here called the New Democrats who are more aligned with the unions, but still very much uh, on the left of center when it comes to their uh, attitudes towards a variety of, of policy issues. Uh, and Pierre Trudeau is a great, or not Pierre, but Justin Trudeau is, is you know, very much uh, setting himself up as, uh, you know, defender of the downtrodden or certainly the middle class, which everyone likes to feel they belong to and fighting off evil corporate interests and so forth. Uh, and Pierre Trudeau likes to go and talk to uh, schools, talks to schools, talks at various, he was at Literacy for Life, for example, which is a pro-literacy organization that raises money for literacy uh, to combat uh, the problems with literacy, uh, mental health association, and so forth. And it turns out that Pierre Trudeau, who has been a member of parliament for at least four years, uh, makes a very good income uh, giving these speeches. He, make, he charges $20,000, anywhere from ten dollars to $20,000 to go to talk to a school, uh, to the Literary Associ Literacy Association. I find that just appalling. I find that so dishonest. Uh, a member of parliament is paid by the taxpayer to be a political representative, to do things on behalf of his constituents, and to be active politically and raising awareness about different issues. And it's natural that a member of parliament would uh, go and give talks at schools or, or other places like that. But to, to collect fees of ten to $20,000, undoubtedly plus expenses, to me is, is completely dishonest. Um, you know, I, I happen to look up, uh, you know, he spoke at this Literacy for Life Association of Alberta, and it says on their website th where they're promoting, you know, donate, support us because we're fighting literacy. Get the word out about literacy and learning. 48% of adults in Alberta have difficulty with literacy that interferes in their day-to-day -day life. And of those 48%, half of them have major difficulty that greatly impacts on their home, work, and community life. Says who? 48% of Albertans, claims this article, have literacy difficulties. And you know the fastest way for them to improve their literacy level? It's not to give money to this organization, not to enlist the services of some uh, literacy tutor, because you couldn't possibly find enough to tutor 48% of the population of the province. They just need to get out and read. And that's something that they could do anytime they wanted to, if they just need to take responsibility of their own reading. They don't like to read. That's why they watch TV. That's their choice. You're not, and there is nothing that this literacy association can do about it. But it's very good because when they're promoting, you know, uh, donate to our cause, 48% of adults have trouble reading, donate to our cause, we need to get the word out. But then they pay $20,000 to have Justin Trudeau, who in my mind, in any case, is an airhead. The only thing he has going for, them, for him is that he's Pierre Trudeau's son. Pay him $20,000. Now, I, I got curious, so I look up like Al Gore. Al Gore is this great advocate for wind farms and solar power and all this other stuff. Uh, he charges $100,000 to go and talk. And first class air travel to and from New York or wherever he lives in Tennessee, regardless of how he gets to the venue. He, he collects the equivalent of first class air travel. But where does he talk? He doesn't talk. None of these people like Justin Trudeau or, or Al Gore, they don't talk to the $1,000 a plate, you know, um, Wall Street Bankers Association. They talk to schools. The, I, the reference I found with regard to Al Gore was from a speech he gave at the University of, 
I don't know, Southern California, San Diego. So these are institutions, public institutions that are funded by the taxpayer and then hand out $100,000 to have someone come and say stuff that they're quite happy saying anyway, because that's they've set themselves up as, as these great promoters of, of this cause. I just find that appalling, appalling. I can't count the number of times that I have gone to give speeches to immigrant groups here in Vancouver. I have mentored maybe 20 or 30 immigrants have come through our office. I've spent time with them. Our employees have spent time with them. We never get paid for doing this. I don't get paid to go and give uh, uh, speeches to the local immigrant service organization. I've gone to have fireside chats with immigrants. I've tried to organize the rotary and got them roped into giving fireside chats to inter, uh, immigrants, all this kind of stuff to help with immigrant literacy. I wouldn't dream of charging for that. I just find that absolutely appalling. And I think that people should be more concerned about when they, you know, when they consider donating money to a charity, where is this charity spending the money? And if there is a speech, even if it's a fundraising event, they should only invite people who are prepared to donate their time to that fundraising event. I think it's absolutely appalling that, that Al Gore charges $100,000 for a speech to say stuff we've heard him say many times before and ditto for Justin Trudeau. So that's my thing today. I just, I'm absolutely flabbergasted that, that this kind of thing goes on. I hope that it reflects poorly on, on Justin Trudeau. Anyway, sorry to wander off my usual language learning subject, but I'm just still uh, just can't get over the fact that he charges $20,000 to go to a school to talk to educators. Anyway, thanks for listening. And if somebody wants to pay me $20,000 to go and talk to school, I will tell them to take that $20,000 and contribute it towards education or do something else with it instead of giving it to me. Uh, I should continue. Justin Trudeau has an annual income from his speeches well in excess of $200,000, not to count his inheritance from his father. He doesn't need the money. He doesn't need, and he has his income as a member of parliament. It's just appalling. And I don't know how rich Al Gore is, and there's many more like him. I think we need to wisen up to some of the scams that are going on here. I expect a great avalanche of nasty comments. Thanks for listening. Bye for now.